Greetings, and welcome to the Mid-Missouri Kayak and Weather Report for June 2017. It's June 9th, Friday, about noon 30, and the temperature is 82, 84 degrees, heading for 86. I'm already drifting, and I just started this thing. I want to keep in the shade. Yes, I want to keep out of the sun. Got the sunscreen on. I should be doing that all along, but here come June. Yes, I'm doing it. Uh, beautiful blue skies. Friday and, and 86 for today. This weekend, 90 and then next week, mid-90s, and the rain's supposed to hold off. Our rain's gone for now. Didn't have to water the lawn until about three weeks ago, or three days ago, I should say. And uh, it's back. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. I'm on the Moreau River. I launched at the Honey Creek Access, and it's called that because Honey Creek is a tiny creek that's really tiny. Enters about a quarter mile, tenth of a mile from the ramp, from the access point. And so I was actually able to paddle into there. I have not done that before. Either the water level is too low or if it's high, trees are blocking it. So right now it's about a foot above its lowest point, and I was able to paddle in there about 250 yards. There were two points where I actually had to drive my fists into the gravel to lift the kayak up past some gravel bars. And at the end, even though I had been going from three inches to two feet to six inches, I came to a stone wall sort of like this rock formation only without a uh, cave under it that had a pool of water right at its base that was about five feet deep I stuck the paddle in that was pretty cool and then uh, there was one point there was a tree totally exposed along the bank the, the tree roots were totally exposed in it and they're hugging the bank it reminded me of something a picture from Southeast Asia or something like that so uh, trees fall down when you know when the water level rises because the trees are right on the bank and I'll show you one that's right across from me where I am is about 80 feet across, and it's a wide spot for this section. You get right over there, and it's only 60 feet across, and that tree, that sycamore, fell in. And it blocks all but about 20 feet. So, you can see debris washed up right against it. Now, that tree will stay green through the summer, and then the leaves will die off, the branches will start breaking off as heavier water starts hitting them. And then, who knows, next year or two years from now, it might look like that. Just what used to be a tree. Now for wildlife today, I have seen cardinals, uh, turkey vultures, always see them every summer. Two great blue herons that stayed about 100 yards ahead of me. However, I did manage to zoom in on one of them and catch him standing on a rock just as he flew away from it, so that was kind of cool. So if that turned out, then you're looking at that right now. Yes, you are. We're, yeah. I've been hearing cardinals and tufted titmouse. It sounds similar. Pretty loud when I went down around the bend of the river. When I'm done here, I'll have about three miles of a paddle, including that quarter mile or so that I went into Honey Creek. Yes, so that is kayak, and that is weather. Now on to other things. Traveled last month, May 29th, Monday, Memorial Day. Drove up to Cleveland, Erie, Buffalo, did some visiting. We were gone for about a week. Nice visit, nice visit. Stopped at the lighthouse, of course, in Erie. Went to Fort Niagara on Lake Ontario because I always like to go up there to get some beach glass. And Lake Ontario has, has been experiencing some record levels and there were if I'd gone two weeks ago I probably couldn't even have gotten to the gravel it would have been up on the on the lawn at the park there but there was about a foot to 18 inches of gravel and we were able to collect a good cup full of ground glass and four or five pieces of blue glass the best blue glass day ever so that is kind of cool yeah um, also went to the Tuscarora Indian Reservation for years I've been wanting to I don't know, validate our alleged Native American heritage. My father had always said that he was one quarter Native, that his grandmother was 100% Tuscarora. But I've been doing genealogy lately on Ancestry.com, and I'm through the U.S. Census, I'm able to follow my father, his parents, their parents, and when I get to his grandmother, I can see that her parents are German, so she can't be 100% Tuscarora. She can't even be part Tuscarora unless she's adopted. However, my father, my uncle, and my aunt were all able to get IDs, 
and I still have my dad. So I took that along with my birth certificate to, to show my connection to him. But when I went to the council house, um, the lady there told me, well, we don't keep a roll or a tree. She says, but there is someone who does genealogy. I can, if you were to get, give me her name, your great-grandmother's name, I could get it to her and she could look into it for you. I gave her the name and she said, that's not native, which is what I was finding. You know? And when I take hers back several branches, I actually come to, uh, well, it's all German, but I eventually come to Dutch. And the Dutch um, is in New Amsterdam, which is like the Albany area back when it was a Dutch colony. And that ancestor was a beer, I think it's master, almost like a teamster, because what he had to do is he had to transport. No one could bring beer into or out of that Dutch county unless he transported it. Couldn't go from tavern to tavern unless he transported it. Pretty wild, huh? And found some um, sighting of a book that actually listed his name and talked about his profession. So that was, that was neat. So, yeah, couldn't get it verified. And when I take her back even further, those Dutch, you go back to uh, uh, Denmark and go back many generations and there's Dutch, but go on another branch and they're French. And they're actually French who were Huguenots who, you know, went exiled from France, I guess during the Reformation. But take it back even further now, at this point I'm no longer an ancestry and I'm so, on some Scandinavian um, gene genealogy site. And they have taken it back to Normandy and from Normandy into Britain going back to, into seven and eight hundreds. Yeah. I definitely have to get some serious research going on there. But that's what I've been up to. Uh, going back to Erie in another two weeks. Yep. Yeah, gonna go to a wedding. Now, that is gonna be cool. Yeah. Get to see the lighthouse again too. See some friends. Family. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm coming up on six minutes. I think I just passed it, so I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to paddle back. It's about a half a mile back to my launch. Do some grocery shopping and wrap up this video on the computer. Details, details. This has been your Mid-Missouri Kayak and Weather Report for June 2017. Ciao, folks, and... Log on.